My dog's born to run. I suppose I was too. Running has shaped my life. It's been an addiction since I laced up my first real running shoes when I was 14 years old. I can never part with them. They hold far too many memories. I had a privileged career as an international athlete. I ran for England and Great Britain. Ran a 217 marathon. I own a running shop. Now I run with my dogs. I love my dogs, but they're always going to need to run if they were going to be part of my pack. Now I'm part of theirs. In 2005, Oslov joined our family. He was my northern Inuit. It's a simple premise. We run, I feed, they listen, they love. It's unconditional. Happiness can be so uncomplicated. Sadly, Oslo is no longer with us, but his legacy lives on with my other four dogs. I've run every day for 39 years. I've never missed a day. It's the truth. I've embraced every element that the environment could throw at me. The driving rain, feet numb and snow, burning heat and gales that can knock you off your feet. But it all pales into an insignificance when you run through grief. I ran through the loss of my brother in 1983 after a tragic speed reaction and took his life at a far too early age. Then through the loss of my parents. Bereavement hit me hard, but running helped save me. Exercise is medicine for the mind. That's another truth. Running is a time for gathering thoughts, for working out what's really important in life. It's an all brief moment of peace and tranquility to settle old scores with yourself and put the demons to bed. It's a time to reflect on the fragile nature of life itself.